What is up, Credits? Welcome back to the Crew Motor Fest. In this video, we're customizing the brand new 2023 Nissan Z. Now, this is not a car that you can actually just go and normally buy. This car is part of the year one pass. So, the year one pass costs 40 real dollars if you bought the standard edition of the game. Now, for those of you who bought the gold or the ultimate editions of a game, the year one pass was included. However, if you bought the standard edition of a game, you did not get the year one pass. And if you want to add on the year one pass, it's going to be $40 uh, dollars USD. So pretty expensive. So what do you get for that $40? Well, you get uh, 25 cars in total. They gave us three at launch and then we get two every month. So that's what the year one pass gives you. But Anyways, I um, already have the car here, so let's go ahead and hop into the visual customization. Oh, also with this uh, year one pass uh, for this month, we did get the Nissan 240SX as well, the S14. So anyways, onto the Nissan Z. Okay, so we got some hood options. So you got a blacked out section there from like the little hood bulge, okay. Full carbon, got a little hood scoop, it looks pretty decent. Carbon, hmm, more like a race style, okay. Doesn't look bad. The hood scoop looks a bit off to me. Like it just looks like unnatural, <laughs> like it doesn't look right. Yeah, all right, well, I guess we'll do this, why not? Okay, we got blacked out headlights. Then you got like little vinyl sections added to the headlights to make them look smaller or thinner. That looks weird to me, okay. What is this, a blacked out section? Oh, well that's pretty cool the way they did that. I like that, that's not bad. Okay, oh wow, a few different bumper options here. Okay, this is the stock, but with a splitter I think, right? Yeah, I like that a lot, that looks really good. That's a large front end, it looks fantastic. Okay, this one has different intakes, different vents, and also primary color on the uh, front lip. Okay, what is the, okay, and then, oh, okay, then the different light variants for those bumper and splitter options. Okay, that makes sense. So I definitely want the stock lights, so the question is what bumper do I want? Um, to be honest, I kind of like this one. Duh. Even though the splitter is a bit aggressive, but this one looks good too. That's a tough choice. Maybe I'll look at the skirts first. Yeah. Oh, also, we, we forgot to show the color. My bad. Um, so you got the manufacturer colors. You got the blue, red, like a gray, like a pinkish sort of color. Got like a white. No, this is silver. Very bright silver. And then white. And then the yellow. I think I think this thing in yellow just looks so good. If I were to own one of these in real life, it definitely has to be this yellow. It's just so iconic on this car. Definitely gonna go with that. Okay, let's look at the side skirts before we pick our bumper. Ooh, well, okay, let's go to the side skirts and then we'll... All right, so what do we got here? I wanna make it all match. So stock is like the... Stock is just plastic, okay. And you got carbon. Okay, so these are all like carbon options. Okay, all right. So definitely the front bumper then. I want to go with the this one right here. Okay, fenders. You got a little subtle wide body, and then boom. So larger, it's much larger in your face wide body. I kind of like the subtle one. Like that just looks clean. It looks really good. Let's do that. Wheels. Ooh, only two wheel options, so you cannot put custom wheels on this car. That kind of sucks, and you can't change the color of them either. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know how I feel about the yellow with the gold. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I think it looks better in like this. I think this is chrome or silver. I think it looks better like this. Um, the gold also does look good. That's a tough choice. Man, oh man. Oh. I'll go with the gold, whatever. Yeah, I think the chrome just looks weird. Caliper color, make them yellow to match. Okay. Side mirrors. Does it make it makes the mirror smaller? And then it makes it what is that plastic? It's like plastic and then like a primary stripe. Okay. 
I, I kind of like the other one. The other one's gloss black. This is plastic. Why would I want to go from gloss black to plastic? <laughs> With a random stripe. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Side skirts. Carbon stock. We already saw this. And then the one with the winglet. And then you got this one with like an intake. That intake looks really good. That, that location. But I do like this fin as well. It kind of matches our front splitter. That's a tough choice. That's a really tough choice. I think I'm going to go with this. The, I guess it depends on what front bumper you have. Um, but in this case, I want to match our front splitter. So I'll go with this one. Rear fender. There's a subtle one again. Looks fantastic. And then the massive one. Jesus. I don't like the way it just cuts off there. That's the thing about these wide bodies. I mean, that, that, that doesn't even go halfway down. It <laughs> just ends so abruptly. I don't know. I think this looks a lot cleaner. So we'll do that. Rear wing, okay, so it's a little ducktail. So you got a carbon version of a stock. Ooh, with the fair lady on there, and it goes all the way across. I like that. Very nice. What the heck is this? That is weird looking. That is that is a very strange spoiler design. I mean, it's kind of growing on me now that I'm looking at it a bit more, but that's kind of weird. And why does it have? What is that shadow, that line on the, like that's where the ducktail used to be. Why is that line still there? That's weird. Then you got this one with like these weird pockets on the side. <laughs> what? I don't under, that's, that's a, those are really weird spoiler designs. Why is the shadow of the stock ducktail still there or the lip or whatever? That just kind of ruins all the other spoilers for me. That's, that's terrible. No, okay. I guess I'm gonna go with Either this or this. I think, I think we'll go with this. Rear bumpers. So you have blacked out tail lights. What the heck is this exhaust? Just like split? That is weird. Okay. Ooh, the quad is nice. I like that. Center exit. Eh. And then this is split, but with the tinted tail lights. Hmm. The tinted taillights don't look bad, but in this game, it's just kind of weird the way they work. I don't know. But the tinted taillights do look pretty good. Hmm. I think I'll go. I think I'll go with the tinted one with the quad exhaust. I like that. Interior. What does it come with stock? Oh, so it's just like plain black. Okay. So you got red, brown, gray, blue. You got different colors, and you got yellow, which I'm gonna do a yellow, but I just want the stitching. So we'll tone it down little by little, and boom, just yellow stitching. And I think that just looks perfect. So we'll do that. Interior materials you cannot change, and interior inserts you cannot change either. So just the color itself. Okay. Ooh, that is nice. I mean, for, for the limited options we have, not bad. Um, now you can install vanity options on this car, but this car is weird. So you can't do custom wheels, but you can do vanity. But then on um, most of the Toyotas, you can't do vanity, but you can change wheels. I, <laughs> the decisions that Ivory Tower makes it <laughs> really baffles me. Uh, but anyways, uh, we already did that. Um, we got top 100 community liveries as well. So people have created some of those, um, you know, some pretty good ones in there. Uh, but I'm gonna stick with what I got here. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, take it for a drive. Wow, that's that's very quick for being stock. Let me tell you. See how it takes this. Ooh, back end coming out there. Sounds great too. For first person. Ooh, good interior too. Shut up, Kara. <laughs> Handles nicely. Sounds really good. I like the pops he let off the gas. And the blow off valve from the turbos. So, this car has a twin turbo V6. 400 horsepower stock, which I think is very, very impressive. As I go off the track, <laughs> the road's a little wet. Um, wow, yeah, not bad. But I know for a fact it can be better, so let's, um, is that the highway right there? Oh, yes, all right, let's, 
let's max this out and see see what it can do I'm excited to see I mean this, this should this should perform well is it oh it's street tier 2 okay that makes sense yeah I mean it's quick Ooh, this is gonna be it's gonna be quick 750 perf level this is gonna be very quick what do we got 681 okay I thought it would have like 700 but that, that's still a lot 681 3500 pounds 224 estimated speed stat there All right, let's see how it does wheel spin wow moves good moves very good I'm not, I'm not using nitrous yet I want to see how long it takes to get to 200 without that I got a corner coming up I gotta use it 237 wow not bad not bad at all. So I hear that sound, that's the haptic feedback triggers from the PS5. <laughs> but yeah, man, this thing is... Oh, I was in the interior. There we go. This thing's cool, man. I, I like this. I think this is a very cool addition to the game. Um, based on me driving in here, I, I don't think it's going to be... Well, I can already tell you, it's not going to be a, a competitive street tier 2 car. Um, but it's definitely quick. I think, I mean, it's not going to be like a like a top three, you know, but um, like up there with their, even though the street tier two is, is pretty balanced for the most part, uh, the Huracan is one of the most consistent ones, but um, I mean, it, it's still maybe like a top 10. <laughs> it, it's the street tier two is, is decently balanced. So you, you, you might get away with using this in like a grand race or something, even though it already, you know, makes all the perf levels the same for everybody, but um, yeah, great looking car. I mean, look at that front end. I know some people don't like the new Z. I personally think that Nissan did a really, really good job with this thing. I, I personally like it. Um, would I own one? Probably not. I think I think it's a bit pricey for what it is, but um, I, I think it's a cool car nonetheless. Definitely a lot better um, than what Toyota did with the Supra, you know. Um, Nissan kind of made this on their own, <laughs> which I think was very cool of them to do, especially in a time with crossovers and electric cars taking over. So, um, yeah, very cool car. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you want to see me do the Nissan 240SX next, the, X, the S14, and I'll see you in the next one.